Hello, lovely people. This is Penge from the Geek Cupboard. And I am Dave from the Wee Hours. And this is Talisman. Not that you'd know it from this screen, of course, because there's nothing to actually indicate that it is Talisman. But we are going to be playing a game of Talisman together, which is quite exciting. So hello, Dave. I'm uh, hello, Penge. I'm very excited. This is I, I, I have a long history with Talisman and we'll talk about it, but I am very excited to be playing Talisman with you. Yeah, you might have to help me out a little bit. I've played a little bit. Oh. I remember my friend had it. I never owned it. My friend had it. And we used to go around his house and I swear he used to cheat. So, um, well, yes. I, as I was saying when we were talking earlier, I Googled when this game came out and it was 1983. So I have officially been playing this game for 35 years. So I do have a history with it. But okay, let's, let's look at the characters. Let's look at the characters and see what we can do with that. Do you, want okay. to, do you want to take yours first? Yeah, we might as well. Let's go for it then. So we're not going to leave it as random. We are going to pick someone, aren't we? Absolutely. So we get, if I click on it, we get the raft of characters at the top. Then there's some DLC ones. But then I did notice right down at the bottom of the list, there are three more that I think we can choose. And I don't quite know why. We can pick the Witch Doctor, the Pirate, and the Ninja from the very bottom of the list. Or I certainly can. I don't know if yours is the same. Mine is the same, and actually, that's new to me. I didn't notice that before. Yeah, the other well, ones I can't put... pick, but yeah, then we've got three more. The Witch Doctor looks very cool. <laughs> look at him. Good well, hat. Let me look at him. What are his abilities? Land on the graveyard. You gave him your full complement of spells. That's quite good. That's quite good. Oh, you can discard spirits for a life. Oh, he's quite good, actually. I don't mind him at all, but I'll let you pick first because I, I'm you You can have the lion's share here and I can adapt after that. Okay, so, well, I have, I played it a little bit yesterday, as we were saying earlier, so I've been through it, so I know all the different stats and things, so I know what they're kind of used for. Just to clarify something, Yes. fate. Fate is used if you want to re-roll your, your dice rolls, isn't it? Correct. Do you get fate back or is once it's gone, is that it? You know, I'm not 100% sure I know the correct answer to that question. I want to say yes. I want to say there are events where you can regain fate, but I could be wrong about that. Because um, the PC version is obviously a little different from the actual board game. So they, uh, I don't 100% know the answer to that question, is the answer to that question. Okay. We shall see as we play, I suppose. Yeah. So, yeah, so there's a, there's a few people. Now, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, when I played before, I, I, I was as, as I was saying to you earlier, I got killed. I got killed in the face. So I was wondering <laughs> if, should I be a more fighty character? Should I be like the dwarf? The dwarf looks quite good. Or the, the, the troll with his strength of six. That's quite good, isn't it? Strength of six, but only a craft of one. And you're going to be fighting some spirits and some spooky uh, monsters that are all craft. Okay. So down the bottom, the ninja looks quite good. The one down the bottom, you can't have any followers, it says. But that's, is that a bad thing? If you're that's a, a bad ninja? Thing. Yeah, oh, but that's you're a ninja. A bad thing. Okay, let's yeah. not do that then. Let's not pick you. Yeah. Uh, um, however, hmm. the ninja can evade enemies in any region except the inner region. So that is handy. That will help with the no followers thing. Uh, not going to help you in the inner region, but it will help you in the other regions. So yeah, followers are a really, really good thing, but you know, that's also a really good ability that he has. Okay, so yeah, so I need to figure out, so do I want to go, I kind of want someone that's balanced then. Sorceress, you begin the game with one spell, that sounds quite positive. When you attack another character, you may choose to make the attack psychic combat. Ooh, that sounds good. That is handy, that is very handy, yep. You may take one follower, except the maiden unicorn or princess from any character you land on, and you can you can beguile people. Oh, I see. You use your charms, right? Okay, that's cool. Shall I be? Yeah. She seems quite. She seems quite balanced in terms of what she she's is, got. Yep. And your stats are going to change, as you've already known if you've played the game. Your stats are going to go up and down, so yes. you're not yeah. married to to your stats. They'll change quite frequently, and you could end up with a sorceress who is, you know, a fighty high strength character. You never know. Hmm. But alignment evil, so I need to keep away from. Was it the temple? There's a temple square, isn't there, which I might need to keep away from. Because that's I bad. believe it is the temple, yes. And I'm kind of floating through. So yeah, go sorceress if you want to. There's I and I'm not saying that because I want to win. You're you're just fine. It's a very balanced character. A yes, very balanced that's character. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, so the, I mean the minstrel was actually all right. Well the well, my trial run, I played the minstrel and I a few animals came up like a snake and something else and i was able to just go eh, eh, fine because the animals don't necessarily attack you you can you can just sort of ignore them and placate them and they go away which is good and he has a fantastic loot you you can't deny that oh it's so, a good it's a good it's and a, a good pose as well 
it's a it's an excellent pose with his loot. So um, yeah, you could definitely look in the minstrel's direction. My only recommendation would be you played the minstrel and died last night. So, Indeed, yes. <laughs> yeah, so there's that. I'm yeah. going to go down the sorceress. She looks cool. She's got a nice yep. dress on. I'll go down that route. There we go. Right, so who are you going to be? I'm just checking out the pirate, actually, because I have not seen him. And I'm kind of curious what he does for a living. Scroll oh, down. Oh, I can... If I encounter a stranger, I can press gang them and take them as a follower. Oh, and they add three <laughs> to my strength. <laughs> that's quite good. So, yeah, that's a thing that he does. Oh, and if I roll a six, I can go right across the river without using a raft. And he's pretty balanced in stats. This is, hmm, I, I might be a pirate. I <laughs> might be a pirate. You have to talk I have like a, a pirate, though. That's it now. No more, no more no, normal talking. You have to talk like a pirate. Can, can I do sort of 50-50 with an occasional R and, and then come back to my normal voice? Because he's got a peg leg and a hook arm. Oh, so, so he has. He's, yeah, he's, <laughs> he, he's going full-on pirate here. He's he actually mi missing the parrot on his shoulder. That is a disappointment. But Maybe you can find one of those as we play. Uh, that would be wonderful. Yeah, you yeah. know what? I think I think I'm going pirate. I've never played the pirate before. And what, what do we? What is his alignment? His alignment is evil. I We're prefer. Both evil. Yeah, I prefer neutral. But I think his abilities more than make up for it. So yeah, I'm I'm going to be a pirate. It's pirate versus sorceress. There we go. So pirate sorceress has appeared. I think we have to tick that we are ready. I believe on the right hand side. I am now ready. we can start the game. So all the settings are done. We've done all the settings. I think it's regular, isn't it? It's a fairly standard setup of game. So yeah, we go. Def default settings, no house rules, just a very very standard game. We of shall talisman. start, and there it is already. Oh. Look. Oh, there you are. I can zoom in and out and see you. There you are. Okay, oh, yeah. So look, it looks lovely. It looks very cool when you zoom in. The, the they, original are they, artwork. Are they based on figures? They look like they're actually, the sorceress looks like she's a picture of like a sort of painted miniature. She is. And um, they uh, did a series nice. of miniatures, um, which I used to collect as a 12 year old boy. I used to have some of these miniatures. Uh, but yeah, they are all any? based on it. I don't, you know, I don't. I have the original board game and all of the expansions for it what we would today call dlc we actually had a physical expansion of a board <laughs> but um i don't have any more of the miniatures unfortunately uh, okay right i have got to draw a spell so let's do that uh, okay let me have a look so can you see this i, I cannot ah, I cannot. okay so I, I i shouldn't really read this out because you'll know what it is no your viewers uh, can see it but i can't okay yeah that's that's quite interesting it's it's got the potential to 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 go either way but okay fine yep continue that's jolly good and okay. i believe i am first okay um so while i do this do you want to sort of explain loosely the rules of talisman to people who do not know because you'll be able to do it far better than i i will do my very best thank you so we are moving around the board and doing stuff basically fighting creatures and gaining skills and gaining spells and gaining stats and our end game is to reach i don't know if i'll be able to zoom in on it but to reach the center of the board. So there are three regions, the outer region, the middle region, and the inner region. And the inner region is the crown of command. Our goal is to get to the crown of command with a talisman in our inventory. And from there, defeat our opponents. Um, so the first person to reach the crown of command um, basically can do a command spell at his opponents and hopefully defeat them at the same time the other opponent is trying to get to the crown of command as well to well you know do the same thing so the end game is to reach the crown of command with a talisman and hopefully knock the other guy out we'll see how it goes and you get the talismans from kind of in doing encounters don't you so you move around the board so it's split it's, it's split into tiles on my screen you can now see because i rolled a five the bits that I can go to are lit up. And one, one thing I didn't remember when I came back to this was if you roll five, you have to move five. You can't move two. You can't go, well, nope. I, have, oh, I want to go to just there. You have to actually move the five squares. That so is correct. Yes. Highlights where I can move to. So I might move over. I don't want to go into the inner bit just yet because that looks kind of dangerous at the moment. So let's stick on the outside bit. Let's go over there, I think. Let's go over to those fields. So I get to draw a card. So we draw an adventure card and then something will happen. So we have to see what it is. So there is a goblin. Oh, I yes, I can I, see the goblin. Yes. I was yes. going to say, I don't know if you can see that. So a goblin. So I now have to fight the goblin. So here we go. He's laying waste to the area. He's laying waste to some fields. You meanie. 
Uh, okay, right, encounter on the way. Now, I believe at some point you do get a chance to, if you've got spells or whatever, you can intervene, can't you? At yes. Points. You yes, can do absolutely. stuff and intervene and either help or hinder, I imagine. I can. I can, and so can you. Again, I don't know what your spell is, so it could be something that could really hurt me or really help me. So mm. you're fairly well matched up against the goblin, though, so this should be an interesting fight. So here we go. Let's see how we get on. So roll the dice. Ooh, yes, that's oh, yes, that's got to be one. good. That's got to be good. Yeah, and that yeah, little thing is a one, go. by the way. That's a one, everybody, that sort of triangle thing. So there we go. The, yes, uh, well, the triangle the, thing is, in fact, the talisman the that talisman we're all trying logo, to get. yes. There we go. Yep, I'll continue from that. Yay! And I win, of course. Good job, sorceress lady. Well and now done. my turn is done. All there right. There we go. Sorted. All right. So here, let's see what what's. Oh, mm. just a one, really. Well, I will also go to the fields over here. Yes, I want to travel there, please. And what do we have in the fields? A Ooh. wraith. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is not going to end well. A wraith is wreaking havoc <laughs> in this area. Yes, I bet he is. Okay. He what looks my... a little bit unfriendly, doesn't he? He doesn't look very yeah. nice. Now this, unlike your goblin, we're going to be fighting with craft rather than strength. So my craft is not super good. So oh. that's because he is a magical sort of beastie yes. rather than a spooky ghosty thing. kind of thing oh, oh dear yeah. well that's haven't you lost automatically <laughs> <laughs> yes pretty much yes ah. <laughs> all right so, well that's yeah. fine there we have go. four lives to live and we can we can regain lives at a point um the unfortunate part is he will now stay on the board he will not leave so that square is now occupied by that wraith and somebody is going to have to defeat him ah okay yes it stays on you can see actually just behind you if we can can yep. i zoom in on that tile there you go i like the zooming effect by the way when you pick a thing and zoom in that's very nice it's yeah, lovely. there you go I, I, so it, it remains on that fields tile yep. so somebody's gonna have to deal with him at some point let's turn it back over to you and see what what's up with you uh, just to point out in the top left we do have our sort of stats kind of thing so the purple bit i believe is fate which is to do your re-rolls isn't it uh, the is. gold bit is gold, which we can spend gold on. There's like shops and things around the place. There's a village over here, I think. And I think there is a, a card. It's like a traveling merchant or something, isn't there? I think I saw that yesterday. There's all sorts of stuff to buy and sell. Uh, two, two. This this red one, well, yours is four, but the red one is strength. The blue one is, what's, what's that one? Blue craft. is craft, yep. And the green one is live. So also, yes, your one is red because you have lost a life thus far. Okay, right. Let's roll the dice. Let's see where I can go. Another five. Rikes. Okay, what's that in the corner? A city. Mm. Okay, so I could visit the Enchantress, uh, which is, oh, it's a bit risky, isn't it? It a is high, a bit. High roll gets you quite a good thing. Or I can go over here to the graveyard. Uh, evil, replenish fate up to your fate value for free, or pray by rolling one die. Ignored, gain one fate, gain one spell. Well, I'm evil. So I might as well try and gain one fate or one spell rather than going to the village and going to see the Enchantress and possibly losing strength and stuff. Or being turned into a toad, which is fun. <laughs> you don't <laughs> want to be turned into a toad, believe me. Does that end the game or do you just play no, as a toad for a bit? <laughs> you play as a toad for, I believe, three turns. You are stuck as a toad. You can only move one square at a time and it's very, very, you, you don't want this. Long story no. short, you don't want to be a toad. No, but it doesn't sound appealing, does it? Yeah, let's go. let's go over to the graveyard. Nice. That's where I started anyway, I believe. And we can pray. It's the only option I've got. Let's see what happens. Ah, uh, ignored. Completely ignored. No, but it does utterly end... ignored. <laughs> utterly ignored. Utterly ignored. They have no interest in you. But it does answer the question about replenishing fate, because you could have replenished your fate here if you had spent some. Ah, yes, indeed. So I haven't spent it, but yeah, it could have topped it up. Okay, right. Uh, uh, right. And end turn, over to you. All right. Let's do a little better this time, Mr. Pirate. So we've got what? We have the village where I could buy and sell some stuff. I actually only have one gold, so that's not really going to work very well. Uh, I could visit the Mystic, which has an equal number of chances of going horribly wrong. <laughs> I, I certainly don't. Really, there's, there's only two good options there. I don't particularly want to come. So let's just go over to these nice hills over here and see what, what horror is going to pop out out of the hills. What do we have? A shadow. Oh, oh really? good. <laughs> really? You're attracting all the undead beasties this time. I, That's good. I am, and I'm not good against them. I'm, that's you know not what? My... That, that card is very nice. That's a very good drawing of a shadowy monster, isn't it? That's quite creepy. The artwork on the original Talisman game is just wonderful. They really put a lot of effort into it, and it shows. 
Oh, did they win? Stalemate? Oh, no, it's a draw. It's a draw. Okay. Yep. So does stalemate. that mean it stays on the tile? Yep. But yeah. I don't suffer don't a lose loss anything from it. I okay. don't lose anything. So that's fine. It can just stay there. I'm just basically going to litter the board with enemies for you to kill. <laughs> <laughs> for me to happen across. Thanks. That's very no generous problem. of you. No problem. All right. Off you go. Uh, in turn, there we go. That's um, uh, back to just just to point out, by the way, to, to people who might be unfamiliar, and I was a bit confused yesterday as well, this thing here, so this thing at the bottom, you can't see what I'm pointing at, but the, the there's a kind of bridge. You can't really see it. There's a bridge over from the outer ring, if you like, into this middle bit. Now, uh, you over there, Pirate Pirate Pete, can't get over because there's no bridges over there, is there? I don't think you can get into this middle bit. You have to go ah. via this bridge at the bottom side, can you? Or do you have to build a raft or something? Well, you can build a raft. You can you can use the bridge, but you have to fight the guardian who holds the bridge. Um, but one of the things with pirate is if I roll a six, I can just automatically cross over because I'm a pirate. Arr, Arr. You see. Right. So apparently I can magically make a ship out of uh, number six. So. <laughs> okay. And there we go. Indeed, that has just happened. So I can either go to there sentinel so the sentinel yeah. guards the bridge uh, if you're crossing to the middle region do not ah, and they say i don't have to necessarily I, I don't have to cross do I? I could just go to that tile and not go across the bridge correct or i could go to the village but i've not really got any gold so i'd have to visit the mystic and that's probably yes that's yeah it's a bit risky isn't it become good okay um, let's go here. Let's go over to the Sentinel. Let's just travel there. I don't want to cross the bridge. Thank you very much. So let's do that. Ah, there you go. Lovely. lovely. Thank you. Oh, now I can go back to the village and buy something. Yeah, <laughs> we'll take that. Thank you very much. Splendid. And that, there you go. That was quite successful. So oh, I'm not was... raising any undead monsters. What's wrong with you? I, I'm, I'm raising a lot of undead monsters. I'm, I'm not sure why. But... <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Any undead monsters? A unicorn, you say? Well, wow. goodness. Yes, this is why followers are important. That's plus one strength ah. and plus one craft. And a, I actually always thought the unicorn could only be taken by good or neutral characters, but apparently there's no problem with me taking this. Is that correct? And does that have a health of five as well, by the look of it, on there? Uh, followers don't really have health, per se. Um, you can. There are places where you can sacrifice followers uh, to the tune <laughs> of one you life each. can't sacrifice a unicorn. Oh, watch me do it. I'm gonna, it's going to happen. <laughs> there, there's, an, there's an area up in the inner region here where you are basically going to want to sacrifice followers. And so you want to accumulate as many as you can. And I will take a unicorn out without even breathing hard. So, okay. okay. And that turn. <laughs> You're just not bothered. Right. Okay. Let's roll that dice. Four. So I can either go into the middle, which I still think is probably not a good idea, or I could go to the village and i've got two gold so i could buy something like a sword mm -hmm. or a helmet in order to help me have my strength a little bit i assume as a helmet will give me extra life possibly i'm not entirely sure a sword is going to give me attack i'm fairly certain you would be correct uh, and everything else is too expensive do you know what why not eh let's go over there let's do that shall we let's go now let's do you bear in mind on your shopping trip that you have only four slots in your inventory? So you do not, that's it. You can carry four things and nothing else, unless later on you get a mule, in which case you can carry more stuff then. But choose your inventory wisely. Ah, okay, right. So does does a, uh, say, a, spells don't count as inventory, do they? They do not. Right, okay. So I can only have four things things oh now you've oh, you've you've cast the shadow of doubt <laughs> um cracks. you can drop things you can you can have things and then drop them later if you get overloaded so oh okay so you can put things back down but you can't yes. cash them in as it were so if i bought a sword i can't sell the sword it'll just be wasted if i drop it yes and if you drop it it will stay on the board so i could theoretically go over and pick it up and take it ah okay yeah okay fact, right. I, do you know what? i'm gonna go over there go over there there's yeah. only a limited amount of ways to actually remove things from the board. There's a, a couple of spells that will do it, and um, you know, just picking things up and defeating creatures will do it. But a lot of stuff is just going to stay on the board. Okay, right. Yeah, let's go to the... I don't like the look of the... Well, I like the look of the card. It looks tremendous. Look at that. That looks great. <laughs> but um, yeah, in terms of the thing, it's not really... You need to be rolling a five or a six. Becoming good, I suppose, is... Yeah. yeah. One of those things. But, and become evil is... I already am evil. 
Mm. But now I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy myself a sword. Why the heck not? Eh? Let's just buy do yourself it. A sword. Let's go, go this way. So uh right, armor. So there we go. So helmet. Uh if you were defeated in battle and lose a life, roll one die for a six. The helmet protected you. A six? Mm-hmm. Mm, I rather think not. It's uh, not very good armor. Sword. Add one to your strength during battle. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Let's go do crazy. That. Yeah, purchase. Ta-da! And it appears on my list up in the corner, and that is my turn. Done. All right. Let's see what let's see what other undead horrors I can summon up from the grave. Uh, now, what is what is that one? That's the crags. Okay, that's a bit of a gamble, and there's there's only a one in six chance of a really good effect. So no, oh, yeah, yeah. actually. But my other option is the tavern. Oh. I like the first option of the uh, of the tavern, the, the first roll. Get drunk get, and collapse in a corner. <laughs> it's good. This one turn. So, and actually, the second option is get tipsy and fight with a farmer. So, there's a lot of drinking to be done here. We're drinking and gambling. You are um, a pirate. I mean, you know, I am a pirate. You know, it is grog? kind of a natural. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go to the tavern. We're going to see what happens in the tavern. <laughs> we're going to we're going to kick the door open with our peg leg and scream R and see what happens. Ooh, All right. Let's see Come on. what happens. Oh, Ooh. that's got to be good. That's got to be good. Yeah. A wizard offers to teleport me to any other space in the region as my next move. That is wow. Very handy. That's very handy. I will take that. Thank you. So very you can much. go literally across to the other side of the board if you so wanted. Yes. Oh, do you do you have to do that next turn then? Yes. Ah. Okay. Right. Okay. I was going to say you've not moved. Nope, next uh, turn. Okay, right. Let's get on with it. Three. We can go back to what's that? A woods of some sort of woods or plains. Well, either or it's the same kind of thing. Let's go, let's go for a walk in the woods, eh? Why not? Let's go, go back for that it. way. Draw an adventure card, a book oh, of spells. Okay. That's good. That's you good. found the f it's it's not just any book of spells, it's the fabled book of spells. You gain your full complement of spells according to your current craft. The book then vanishes to the discard pile. <gasps> So my current craft That's, is four. Do I get three more spells? I think you get uh, one more. I, I, I'm I'm straining my. Oh, my actually, hang third. on. I did yeah. write this down because I have to write oh, this down because I've got no brain. Um, yes. Yeah, so if you've got craft of one to two, you get no spells. Three is one spell, and four to five is two spells. So you should get so one I more get spell. An extra spell. Okay, Lovely. that's no bad thing. No. Ta -da. Uh, okay, encounter. Draw a spell. Again, you can't see this. Can I you? can't okay. see that. Your viewers can see it, but I can't. That's not the most useful of spells. I shall be completely honest. That's not the best. But okay, fine. We'll we'll take it because we got it. There you go. Take it. It's not the most I, useful. I find with dud spells, and there are some really not so great spells in here. Hang on. Where, where am I going to move? I can go. Wow! Look at that. You've got the whole board. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to go over to the ruins because the ruins is two cards. So we're going to draw two cards over there. Um, I find the best tactic is get rid of the dud spells as quickly as you can. If they're useless, just use them up to free up a space in your okay, spell right. inventory, if you will. So what do we got? We got raiders. Band of raiders attacks me and steals all my gold. Oh, well, that's no good. Well, bugger that. Um, <laughs> do you get to choose? So you get to pick another card if you don't like that one. No, or do you have I, to deal with that. Oh, dear. oh my goodness me! <laughs> oh no, 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 no! This is fine. This is fine, actually. Um, I am of evil alignment, so I gain one ah, life. Ah, you get your life yes. back. Yeah. Uh, no, so it's a two-card square, so I have to encounter both of these. So I've lost all my gold, but I've gained a life. So you know, kind of, you know, net zero balance okay. there. And you don't have yeah. to fight anyone. The raiders literally just just yep. beat you up and Walked steal your stuff and it. then run off. Oh, okay. Yep. Walked right off with my gold. Now, that gold uh, is actually up in this desert tile up here, which is, if you're looking at the board on my screen, is the one that I'm circling. But anyway, it's in the middle region. You can actually go get my gold at some point. Okay. All right. Off to you again. Um, Just one quick thing. Do Please. You, are you allowed spells as a pirate? You're not a magic -y yes. person. You are allowed spells. Right. Okay. So yep. everyone can have spells. Okay. Look. Yes. So with my three craft, I could theoretically get one spell at this point. Uh, what's that? So hills or fields? Okay, well, whatever. Again, it's pretty much the same. Let's go to the fields. Let's see what happens. The pool Ooh, of... That's I'm good. Quite good things. Four life points are found here. You may bathe in the pool once per visit and take one life from the pool to add your own lives. When all four have been taken away, the pool of life drains away. So that will remain on that tile then, I assume. Yes, and you should automatically take one life right now. So there we go. So I, I would... should go, yeah, I imagine I'll go up to five. Yeah, so I've had a little bath, yeah. a little splish yeah. about in the pool of life. 
And now if we land on that, we can come back and get that. Okay, that's quite cool. I like that. That's you are good. drawing some very good draws lately. And actually, that's really the kind of the thing about Talisman is it, it's ultimately a game of chance. It, it, you can plan all you want, but it comes down to die rolls and card draws. And the worst player in the world can totally win this game. Um, uh, just playing where I'm going to avoid the wraith. Oh, that you I can't go back to that wraith, can you? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm I'm terrible at wraiths. Um, but the the worst player who's never played it before in his life can totally win the game with some good card draws and some good dice rolls. So the gnome, another follower, excellent. Wow. Oh, I love the gnome. Um, for <laughs> he his, looks good. <laughs> he is. He's first of all, he's enchanting, and secondly, the need to only roll one die when opening the portal of power by craft and two dice in the mines. That's very, very important. So hopefully, I can hold on to him long enough to get up there. Um, there are multiple ways we can lose followers and get followers killed. So hopefully, he'll stay with me long enough to get into the middle region. I did say that as well. He can evade you. Yeah, he can evade stuff in the hills. It said, didn't it? Is that what it said I at am, the bottom? I'm not disappointed with my followers at all. Unicorn That's and Gnome, those are good, two isn't it? very good followers. Very good okay, followers. Right, let's just have another go. Four. Okay, where did, oh, that takes me on to you, which I don't think I want to do particularly. Yeah, you're quite strong if it comes to a, a, a full-on sort of fist fight, because you're a pirate and I'm a lady in a dress with a stick. <laughs> and I've got a sword, actually. I've got a sword, but you're a proper pirate. You've got a peg leg. So, I've got a peg leg and a hook arm. And a hook I arm. I think I'm going to go this way because I don't. Really you don't want have to, to attack me, by the way. And don't you have a special ability to beguile? Couldn't you mm, come over and beguile I me? Actually, I could do. Yes. How do I find out where my special abilities um, are for me? Uh, ah, it's a, it's the there's a, a, a magnifying glass thing in the corner. Is that it? No, not that. Ah, I press the I press the I. So I I click my portrait in the corner and then press the the information kind of thing that pops oh, out. Oh, yes, I see that there, yes. Um, okay, when I attack another character, you may choose to make the attack psychic combat. Okay, oh, that could be quite fun. Or beguile and I'm no a character. Good at psychic combat. Dearly, dearly do. Or you may take one follower, except the maid unicorn. Oh! <laughs> oh, you can't have my unicorn. Darn. Uh, yeah, let's pick that square. Let's travel. Uh, let's go and see you. Hello. <laughs> Arr. Uh, encounter you... space or encounter character. Okay, so I want to encounter you, because that sounds fun. <laughs> so let's encounter you. Hello, oh, pirate. Dear. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, take your gnome. Oh, right. you took my gnome. <laughs> I'm going to oh, steal your gnome. Oh, <laughs> he's so good. The gnome is so handy. Oh. I've stolen a gnome. I've You've stolen, stolen a gnome. A gnome. <laughs> Penge has stolen my gnome. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to come and get it off, you know, off the back of your unicorn or something. I'm charge. I'm going to charge over on my unicorn with my peg leg and my hook arm and get my gnome back at some point. And actually, with the loss of my gnome, I think that's probably a good place to call it for now. I would think it's been a very dramatic ending with the loss of my gnome. I'm very sad about this. <laughs> I feel a bit bad. You sound you sound very upset. Do you want him back? The gnome is really good. Uh, honestly, the gnome is one of the better followers. Um, he's not immediately obvious as to why he's so good, but when you're moving into the other regions, he's very, very handy. So I do miss the loss of my gnome, and I will be making every attempt to get him back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we will see if I can get him back next time. We'll pick it up again then. Um, until then, I am Dave from the Wee Hours. And I am Penn from the Geek Cupboard. This has been Talisman, and we will see you next time. And I'm back in the lockup again. I can break out this time though. Ha ha! Don't have that, you buggers. This game is very hard, and it doesn't care that it kicks you in the face every now and then. Is there a difference between a gremlin and a goblin? I don't know. Maybe one's got a bigger chin and one's got bigger noses or ear size or something. I don't know. Whatever. These fellas.